Whenever the laws of any state are broken, a duly authorized organization swings into action. It may be... the endless war between the criminal and the peace officer brought more sharply into focus than on the highways of the nation. Here, the men of the highway patrol work around the clock, protecting the lives and property of our citizens. Last September, the law enforcement agencies of 10 states were on the lookout for two unknown criminals who operated solely along the highways. Their crimes always started at service stations. Where's your car? I got a panel truck half a mile up the road. Well, I'm going that way if you'd like a lift. Sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. I was glad to help. Well, you just keep right on feeling that way and you'll be all right. Get out. You better do what my partner says. Come on. Out. Come on, hurry up. Over there. Come on, up here. Hold it here. Put your hands behind you. Tie her up. No one will hear you if you yell, so just be quiet and you won't be hurt. The card okay? John B. Carlyle. That your husband? You held me up just for that credit card? We deal in new tires, batteries, and car accessories. But we've got to get them before we can sell them. You're going to leave me tied up here? Look, lady, we'll use your car to get a couple of truckloads of stuff. Will take us more than eight or nine hours. Then we'll phone that service station and tell them where you are. All right, now you get on there. Lie flat on your face. Get out! And don't you move. Credit card, boys? Not a thing. When they pulled their last job? Last Thursday, just out of Atherton. That's a week ago. And it'll take them about that long to unload the stolen goods. They picked up over $1,000 worth of tires and batteries on that last credit card. Well, they're going to hit again, I'm sure. The question is where? Well, that area around Atherton, so they're pretty tight. I don't think they'll risk another job there. You got a description of the truck? According to the reports, it sounded like a panel truck. Panel? Alert all units. Have them check all trucks parked alongside of the road. Right. Long enough to get into well, a station. Well, the thinner the better. No one's going to let you out of the station in a country like this with the tires about ready to blow. Get that jack.
credit card boys are practically on our doorstep. Where? They just pulled a job on Highway 12 near Carter's Corner. Held up a woman named Janice Carlisle. Took her car, money, and a credit card. Well, they sure picked a good spot to set up a credit card roundup. Yeah, right in the center of three main highways and a fancy network of secondary roads. Same them all? Exactly. Tied her up and left her in the brush. How'd she get loose? She finally worked her way out of it. 1510 picked her up on the road. Well, the odds are in our favor. They use a truck? They sure did, a panel truck. And thanks to Mrs. Carlisle, we've got the license number. Get out an APB. Set up roadblocks in the three main highways. Have all units in that area warn gas stations around there. Right. Oh, Garvey. Tell the gas station attendants not to try to make the capture. We'll take care of it ourselves. Which way do we go from here? We'll stay on these secondary roads. With the hunting season on, all these small stations are going to be expecting strangers. Let's go. Hello? Oh, who's calling, please? Just a moment. Jimmy, telephone. It's the highway patrol. Highway patrol? Hello, Jimmy Hayden speaking. Hello, Mr. Hayden. This is highway patrol. Are you the owner of the station? Yes, sir, I am. Well, there are two men somewhere in that area, Mr. Hayden, who may be using a stolen credit card to pick up tires and accessories. Do you honor credit cards? Yes. Well, have you had a credit card customer in the last hour? <laughs> I haven't had a customer in the last hour with or without a credit card. Well, would you take this down, please? Shoot. The stolen car is a green sedan. Michigan license number, NT5349. The credit card is in the name of John B. Carlisle. 224 Sandhurst Avenue, Lansing, Michigan. The second suspect may be driving a panel truck. The license number is J73450. Got it. And Mr. Hayden. Yes? Under no circumstances are you to try and make a capture. If the suspects come to the station, wait on them, then call us when they leave. I understand. But it isn't likely they'll come this way. We're kind of off the beaten path. Well, they may decide to concentrate on secondary roads, Mr. Hayden. Okay. Thanks for the warning. What was that all about? Oh, nothing. They're looking for a couple of guys. Why'd they call you then? Well, they thought maybe the guys would come to the station. They stole a credit card. Do you think you should close down the station until they catch them? <laughs> no, it's just a routine warning. They usually do that. We're too far off the main highway. They won't even find us out here. Say, how about some lunch? Lunch? You just had breakfast. Okay. Then get me another breakfast. <laughs> I'm hungry. What are you going to do with that? I'm taking it with me. Oh, but we agreed that the gun was going to stay right here in the house, except in case of emergency. Susan, look, what good is a gun in the drawer if someone tries to hold up the station? Oh, but you just said you weren't worried. Well, with a couple of crooks loose. But you're not supposed to be capturing crooks. That's what the highway patrol told me. Then you don't need the gun. Honey, I'm not going to try to capture anyone, but I'd feel a lot safer with the gun out there in the station. Oh, but Jimmy, if you have the... Look, honey, you let me worry about the gun and you just worry about that lunch. <laughs> All the service stations in the area have been notified, and I checked with the roadblocks. No sign of a stolen car or the panel truck. They can't have got by the roadblocks if Mrs. Carlo was right about the time of the holdup. Then they're probably working the secondary roads. Maybe we ought to move the roadblocks. Yeah, let's do that. We'll wait a half hour. Right. How about that place? That looks good. You go ahead, I'll cover you. Fill it up, please. One of my front tires seems to be low. I'll check it. Thank 
headquarters to 2110. Headquarters to 2110. 2110 by. Any report on the stolen car or the panel truck? Neither vehicle has passed this checkpoint. 10-4. 10-4. Well, that covers the three main highways. Repeat the ABP north and south. They were caught as corner a half hour ago. They can't fly away. Right. I don't think a tire will hold air much longer. How long would it take you to put four new tires on the car for me? Oh, not long. If we've got your size in stock, I'll check. Get your hands up, mister. We're gonna call the highway patrol. Get over there. Racing from the scene in the panel truck, precious minutes were lost to the highway patrol before Mrs. Hayden obtained sufficient control of herself to call for help. Hello, operator. I want the police. And hurry. Please hurry. Highway patrol, Garvey. This is Mrs. Hayden speaking. My husband's been shot and he needs a doctor. Well, where are you, Mrs. Hayden? It's Hayden's service on Route 40, about two miles south of Gladden Falls. Hayden's service station. Route 40, two miles south of Gladden Falls. And please, please hurry. Yes, Mrs. Hayden, don't hang out. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Hayden. Woman just called and reported a shooting at Hayden Service Station. Her yes. husband's badly wounded. Does she know who did it? Hung up before I could ask. Where's Hayden Service Station? It's two miles south of Gladden Falls on Route 40. Get more units in that area. Tell 2110 I'll meet him at the service station. Right. Headquarters to 2110. Headquarters to 2110. 2110 by. What is your 1020? Route 40. Three miles south of Gladden Falls. Shooting at Hayden Service Station, one mile north of you. Advise occupant, ambulance, and doctor on the way. 10-4. I'll get it, Mrs. Hayden. Hi. Hi. What's the story so far? Well, the guy outside was dead when we got here. He's one of the men who robbed Janice Carlisle. He had the stolen credit card in his possession. Looks like Hayden shot him. That's a Carlisle car out by the pumps. What about Hayden? He's wounded. The doc says it's serious, but it looks like he'll pull through. The way I put it together, Hayden recognized the license on the Carlisle car and tried to make a capture. Did you get Hayden's gun? It's in the station. Only one shot fired. Hayden was apparently shot by a third party, probably a Confederate in the panel truck, because a dead man's gun was never fired. What about his wife? She's been in a state of hysteria. I couldn't get much out of her. You might have better luck. She's calmed down quite a bit since I questioned her. I better get back outside. Okay. Hayden, may I talk to you for a minute, please? I'm Dan Matthews, Highway Patrol. Do you know who shot your husband? No, I don't. I've already told the yes, officer. Yes, I know this, but please tell me. Well, after the Highway Patrol call, Jimmy took his revolver and went back out to the station. Then what did you do? I was worried. When Jimmy makes up his mind to do something, there's no use trying to even stop him. I just tried to tell myself that there were so many other places those men could go with their stolen credit card, they surely wouldn't come way out here. 
Then I just kept busy and tried to put it out of my mind. Where were you when the shots were fired? I got out in the backyard to take some clothes off the line. That's when I heard the shots. I was so frightened I couldn't even move. I know what you mean. I understand that. It's like one of those dreams that you have where, where you try to run and you can't. Or you try to scream and, and you just can't make a sound. What did you see when you finally got to the station? The other man was lying on the ground. And then I saw Jimmy. I thought he was dead. Did you hear a car drive out? I don't know. Please, Miss Hayden. Think hard. Mr. Matthews, I... I really don't know. Everything that's happened since I heard those shots has... has just been like a nightmare. I couldn't be certain of anything I did or didn't do. May I use your phone? Yes, it's, it's right over there. Thanks very much. Highway Patrol, Garvey. This is Matthews. We'll get nothing out of Hayden when he comes to. If you get a report in the panel truck, let me know. Okay. Now, look, he's liable to ditch it. Warn the boys about this. Okay? Right. Big mistake, mister. All I have on me is ten dollars. Come on down here. All right, but don't shoot, please. Come on. Now turn around. Turn around. You shouldn't be getting up. I'm all right. What was that? Mr. Matthews, from the Highway Patrol. You well enough to answer a couple of questions? Highway Patrol. Guess you think I'm pretty stupid trying to stop those guys. Can you describe the guy who shot you? Well, he was... He was in a truck. Drove into the station. I didn't see him. I had a gun on the other guy, and I was going to tie him up. I had it all figured out. I'm... I'm sorry I, I didn't get them. I'm sorry I didn't obey instructions from my office. Why don't you lay down and take it easy? I tried to tell him, but he wouldn't listen. He's so headstrong. Headstrong people can get hurt, you know. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hello, this is Highway Patrol. I'd like to speak with Mr. Matthews. Oh, just a moment, please. It's for you. Thanks. It's Matthews. A man on a hunting trip was just held up and robbed of his station wagon and camping equipment. Deer Mountain Road, mile and a half north of Gladden Falls. The description of the assailant fits the second suspect in the credit card holdup. Where's the victim? He's waiting on the road near the abandoned panel truck. His name's Cliff Reynolds. He flagged down a car heading for Gladden Falls, told him to get a hold of the highway patrol. Why didn't he come back with the driver? Said he wanted to stay there until the police arrived. Thought he might be able to help. Okay, I'll take it. Thanks for your cooperation. I'll be in touch with you. You Cliff Reynolds? That's right. 
Which way did the guy in the station wagon go? That way, with all my hunting equipment. There's a high pirate rifle in that automobile, and if he knows how to use it, he can be plenty dangerous. You cut back to Gladden Falls. Pick up a rifle. Notify the other units what happened. I'd like to go with you if I could. I know this area pretty well around here, and I might be able to help. All right, I'll tell you what, you can. If it gets dangerous, I'm going to put you out of the car. Fine with me. Hop in, let's go. We're not going to listen in. Check for your rifle. Hmm? You got the rifle, all right, and the ammunition. He's right over there. If he gets over that ridge, we'll lose him altogether. You're not going in there after him with just that revolver and he's got that high part rifle, are you? Well, that's the way the odds are sometime. Wait here for Dennis. Mr. Matthews can't get close enough to use his revolver and he's in trouble. Get out! Stay down, make him think he got you. Partner, I'm coming in to get you right now. You all set? Thanks. That's one I owe you. See Highway Patrol again next week. Until then, remember, it isn't what you drive, but how you drive that counts. This is Roderick Crawford saying, see you next week. Thank you.